Hello traders and welcome back to another Funded Trading Plus video. In today's video, we are super excited to announce the launch of our DX Trade partnership. DX Trade, for those who don't know, is our new trading execution platform. So we thought it was only right that we go ahead and make a tutorial slash walkthrough video for those of you who aren't that accustomed to the platform. In today's video, we'll be going over how to enter trades, how to manage those trades, and a lots of other cool features that DX Trades offers. Uh, for those of you who already know bits and bobs about DX Trade, feel free to skip ahead using the chapters function on YouTube. But for those of you who don't and would like to see a full walkthrough from buying an account with Funded Trading Plus to executing a trade on DX Trade, feel free to sit back, relax, and enjoy another Funded Trading Plus video. So everyone, the first thing you want to do is find Funded Trading Plus on Google, or you can find us via obviously our social media accounts, etc. etc. Once you're on the main page, all you need to do is you can either scroll down or head to our programs page here. Uh, here you'll find our one phase, two phase, instant funding programs that we offer and all the different account sizes to choose from too. In this case today, we're gonna to be purchasing the one phase experience trader program, a 50K account. Once you've chosen your uh, valuation type, your program type and your account size, um, head over to click on start now. Click on start now and then here you'll find choose your broker. Um, in this case today we're going to be explaining DX Trade, which is recently integrated. Um, so that'll be the default setting DX Trade. Broker selection is Think Markets. Um, once they're both selected, they'll automatically be selected. We go to continue to checkout. And here essentially is where you'll find the account 349 for the 50k DX Trade Think Markets evaluation account. And all we need to do now is add all our billing information. If you do have a coupon code, uh, make sure you do click uh, here to enter your coupon code. In this case, we have um, a coupon code just for the purpose of this um, video. So yeah, I'm just gonna fill in all the details, purchase the account, and um, yeah, so we'll just sort of skip through this a little bit. So yeah, essentially once you've added all your details and you've pressed checkout, you'll be granted to this new page uh, just to confirm the order details. In this case, we've got a 349 total. Um, the discount was obviously the coupon code that applied. Uh, you'll get your order number here, the date, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. All we're waiting on now is waiting to receive the credentials um, to the email that you've added to the checkout page. And uh, once you've got the credentials, we can kickstart um, our DX trade journey. So we've purchased the account. We've now received the emails, very quick process. You'll have three emails being received. The first email is simply to confirm that you've purchased the account with all your billing information, the details of your purchase, um, just bog standard really. Uh, the second email is the user registration email. These are the details that you will need to sign into the Funded Trading Plus dashboard. So we'll do that momentarily as well. And then the final email is your evaluation login details. So this is very important and we'll also be using these to log into our DX Trade account. So yeah, keep all these very safe. They will come through um, usually very quickly. In this case, it took a matter of minutes. Yes, so you'll also need to KYC within 48 hours so don't forget to be doing that so from purchasing the account to receiving your details very quick pro process and now we're just going to go on to log into the Funded Trading Plus dashboard and log into the DX Trade account right then so the next step is we're going to want to sign into our Funded Trading Plus dashboard so to do so you need to go back to the emails and here you'll find the user registration email with your dashboard login and your dashboard password and um, once you've got those details head over to the fundertradingplus.com website head over to here log in in your top right of the browser here it'll take you to the dashboard you can add your details and press sign in once you do press sign in you'll be presented with um, a tab on your left hand side which includes a dashboard trade overview uh, notifications rules definitions help and support and then finally a downloads tab um, essentially when you do start placing trades on your dx trade account they will appear on your dashboard and your trade overview here we've got our lovely little equity graph here and um, yeah that's pretty much it as you can see here we've got a fifty thousand dollar simulated balance for our experience trader program with a 5k simulated target and here you'll find all of the details that you need once you do start uh, placing trades and if you do get stuck along the way with the rules 
here you go to rules and definitions and you'll find all of the few rules that we do have including your daily drawdown and your total drawdown limits right then so now that we've purchased the account and we've logged into the funded trading plus dashboard it is now time to log into the dx trade account so what you're gonna have to do is go back to your emails and you want to go to the email where it says new account details so we'll click on this as you can see here we've got our evaluation login details here um, from here you'll click on the platform url You'll be taken to this dashboard where you'll have to enter a username and a password so the username and password for this is simply here so uh, copy and paste these details into the login uh, username and password i've already done so so i'm just going to click this once you've ready click the login button and now you'll be presented with the dx trade platform uh, as you can see here we've got our balance our equity profit and loss use margin free free margin etc uh, the beautiful thing about dx trades this platform is it is fully customizable so we've got the chart layout here you can have it on different time frames so one minute all the way down to the one month um very quick very responsive and as i say um yeah really customizable for however you want to trade it once you do get the grip of it it is very straightforward on the left hand side here we've got all of our pairs um this is just default so you can create your own lists too um so if you want to create your own list you can go to my lists um and uh, yeah create your own list essentially so in my case got watch list one it's empty at the moment but you can add your own lists too um so yeah we've also got the buy and sell buttons here but if you wanted to just close this down you can close it down and the top left here we've got four little uh, interior dashboards so we've got the trading dashboard here this will tell you your total net profit and loss uh, average daily uh, profit and loss and just loads of other cool details that, that will help you on your way you've also got a trading journal as I say we've not taken any trades yet so we will have none to show and then finally a technical analysis uh, platform which I say you can you can have different charts on different time frames all your different indicators and uh, yeah pretty cool to be fair um, so now the next step is we're going to show you how to place a trade so all you need to do is say you want it to buy or sell ad cad you can right click on the on on the screen you'll get presented three options buy sell or alert so in this case let's just buy um some ad cad and here you'll be presented a new order window so right now this would just be um order types you've got market limit stop and oco um and then here is your lot sizes so you can add um, your lot size is using this little uh, toggle here or you can just simply uh, place your custom custom lot sizes here so in this case we're only going to be trading uh, test test um, trades so 0 0.01 and the cool thing here is you've got protection orders too so in this case this is where you can now add your stop loss um, so let's just say we want it to place a stop loss at 0 0.88200 um, this is going to be showing you the margin impact as well. So the higher and lower you decrease your lots, it'll be showing you the margin in, uh, margin impact. Um, you've also got your take profit settings here. So if you wanted to add a take profit, you could add a day profit. Let's just say zero dot eight eight six hundred. Um, so it will tell you the pips of your stop loss, the pips of your take profit. Um, and then yeah once you're ready to place the trade whether it's a buy or sell in this case it's a buy or sell limit will be um in this case we'll just do a market order uh, we've got your stop loss got your take profit and uh, yeah you just press send order you'll get a cool little fill uh, filled order sound and then as you can see here we now have our aud card to buy trade um with our take profit the current price stop loss etc um and then if you look on the chart over here um this this green line indicates where you entered the trade so it's pretty cool um and then yeah that's how you enter and um, enter trades really so that's ad card entering the trade to close a trade um you can just press this little x button here it'll then say are you sure you want to close uh, the position if you'd entered multiple lots here you could uh, enter a partial close so if you entered one lot and you wanted to close half your position you could do 0 0.50 uh, and press close position the other the other half would stay open so in this case we'll, we'll show an example of that now so we'll just close this trade off and um, yeah so let's enter another buy we'll go for a market order again this time we'll go for a one lot trade and we will um protection yeah always use protection orders so in this case we'll just add the five pit stop loss a five pit take profit we'll press send and now we're in another trade so here you also get a little notification to say you've ended the trade and yeah happy days so let's go to close the position lots to close um we will now go for 0 0.5 and we'll close the position 
So as you can see now, the size of the trade we are currently in has been reduced to 0 0.5. Um, so yeah, that's another cool feature. Um, very quick, very instant executions too. And um, yeah, that's as simple as it gets really. Um, once you get used to the platform, the way it works, it is so straightforward. So let's just close this position down, the full, the full amount. And there we go. Uh, if you want to customize the platform as well, you can also, if you're don't, not a fan of the dark theme, you can also switch to a light theme. Uh, I'm more of a fan of the dark theme, so we'll, we'll, we'll keep it to that. So we now know how to enter trades using DX Trade. We know how to add take profit stop loss orders to the positions as well. We also know how to close trades down partially. And now what I'd like to show you is how to create your own watch list because if we go to the default watch list over here, we can see so many pairs ranging from commodities, cryptocurrencies, indices, and this can be a little bit overwhelming at first. So don't worry. All you need to do is click on the default watch list tab, go to create your own list. In this case, we'll create a euro list. Um, so any pairs that involve uh, euro first. So we'll click on save. You then get taken to this brand new list, as you can see here, the euro list in this case. All you need to do to add some pairs to this is click on, for example, your USD. You can click on that and then boom, we've got our first pair in our personal list. You can go to other pairs too. So you like Euro JPY. You can add those all into this watch list now. And then, um, yeah, you can have as many lists as you'd like. You can go to my list here. As you can see, I've been having a little play around. We've got loads of different lists now here. Uh, and it just makes life a little bit easier uh, if you're a trader who only trades three, four, five pairs. Um, or, or you just like to customize it a little bit and if you want to change the pair on your chart all you need to do is replace this symbol here with for example euro usd click enter and um, yeah we'll, we'll have euro usd on the chart very quickly very cool uh, you can also change the time frames using all these here if you're a trader who likes seeing um, the display in lines um, to see your highs and lows then that's also cool there um, and then yeah loads of different options the other cool thing is now that we've actually got trades placed we've got the trading dashboard here with some updated figures we've only entered three trades they were all losses obviously um, and uh, it already gives you some information it will look better once you've got a larger trade data uh, and a sample size you'll get a percentage return you'll get your risk reward ratios and uh, all the cool little bits and bobs which um, which you didn't have before we we do get them in the dashboard the fund the trading plus dashboard but um, yeah it's a nice little extra feature a nice little extra touch from dx trade also if you head over to your trading journal you can see as most trading journals your trade prices uh, profit and losses in in currency and your profit and loss in pips too um, final point on dx trade is your balance equity profit and loss use margin this will update pretty much instantly as you're entering and exiting trades. So really cool from DX Trade. We're really happy to have them on board. Um, we've had some good reviews so far and we've got some exciting things around the corner, such as the mobile app, which will be coming soon. So stay tuned for that. Uh, final point before we go is you can head over back to the Fund Trading Plus dashboard, press refresh, and all of the balances, all of the figures have been updated as we've already entered three trades. As you can see here, trades lost three. And um, yeah, so average losing trade size, your simulated balance is updated, your simulated target is updated. But I hope this video gives you guys a clear understanding on how to use DX Trade. It can be a little bit overwhelming at first, but it is really straightforward. We're super excited for the for the journey ahead. Um, we hope you're taking value from this video. As I say, stay tuned for all the exciting updates coming around the corner. We have got loads of exciting updates. As always, thank you for your trust in us. We're super happy with all the all the positive comments that we've had recently. So yeah, thanks a lot for your support. Don't forget to follow us on social media. Give this video a thumbs up. Let us know your thoughts on DX Trade in the comments. And uh, yeah, until next time, guys.